you haven't heard. Tip number one, buy more than one second generation Hakka. The first doesn't have a suction cup and the second generation does and the third generation is too heavy to truly stay on your boo. Why do I need two? Tip number two, it will save you some serious time on baby dishes. So you take one Hakka after a feeding it goes in the fridge, you let it cool down to temperature. Meanwhile, you've got your other haka ready to go for the next feeding. When you're using your, your other haka, you have milk in it, then you place it in the fridge, you take the original haka out and bottle it, freeze it, whatever you're doing with your milk typically, um, and then you just go and wash that one so that you have it ready to go for your third feeding of the day. And another great thing about this is that, you know, the haka is one piece to wash. This is going to save you like time. <laughs> All right. Tip number three, a wiggly baby is most likely at some point going to kick off your haka because the haka sits where their feet are. So my tip for you is to wear a hands-free pump bra and hook your haka through the opposite side from which you're nursing. Uh, this gives an extra layer of security after even the suction. Even if you have a, a great suction on there, it just gives an extra layer. And I've got a bonus tip. If you produce a lot of milk, empty your haka halfway through. That way, if it gets kicked off, you're not losing all of your milk. You know, it's still liquid gold, but at least it's not all of it. So please comment, like, and subscribe if you want to hear more. <laughs>